What's going on guys, Hot Sauce Z here. Today I wanted to make a quick video on the install of these Tiger Ice Skates for the G Pro X Superlight. I just got these in the mail today and uh, wanted to do an install video. So the reason I'm putting these aftermarket Tiger Ice Skates on is because I've noticed some scratchiness with um, the stock feet here. I haven't had this mouse very long, you know, I've, I've had it probably a couple months. Um, I don't remember exactly when I bought it, but I'm noticing some scratchiness on this Zowie GSR mouse pad. And so I wanted to get something that was gonna be a little bit more slick. Um, the stock feet on the G Pro are kind of known for being a little bit scratchy, a little bit stickier probably than people would prefer. These Tiger Ice Skates, um, they come highly recommended from some Battlefield players and some FPS aimers that I, I really trust. So we're gonna put them on there and see what that's like over the course of this week on my streams. But yeah, I know I know that this GSR is a control pad. This is a slower pad. It's quite thick, and uh, the top can be a little bit more grippy, especially if the environment you're playing in is a little bit humid like mine. We have a very humid climate where I'm at, so this pad does tend to get a little bit stickier. So couple that with these stock feet, and you've got kind of a recipe for a little bit of a slow drag on your mouse. So anyways, that's why I'm doing it. Let's get into the process here. So in order to do this, really all you need is like some tools to get underneath the stock feet to pull them off. I've got a couple of tools here that are useful in working on electronics. Uh, we'll probably end up just using the small screwdriver. I can get it out of the bag here. I've got a couple different tools here. Um, there's some little picks some scrapers. I've kind of tore them up a little bit on some <laughs> other electronics, so we probably won't use these. Their, their edges are kind of blunt and jagged now. I think that either this SIM card removal tool will probably work or, or this small flathead screwdriver. So what we're gonna do, of course, is just turn the mouse off. And then there's a, I don't know if it'll show on the camera. There's a little notch that's actually designed in the mouse, the camera won't really focus, but there's a notch here to get underneath the foot, and then there's another one on the back ring here. This one, you'll just have to be kind of gentle. You want to work away from your sensor in case you slip. You don't want to you don't want to be scratching that sensor at all. But this one will just be removed that way. This one will get underneath here and removed that way, and this one will peel off with the notch here. So let's do that real quick. Just going to try and gently get underneath here and begin the peel. We've got it started here. So we can go ahead and, it's a little sticky, so I think I'm gonna try and pull a little bit more off. Just kind of get underneath. You don't have to be in a rush. Just take your time. The main concern is you just really wanna make sure you're not ever getting the sensor in any kind of danger. Back here, there's not too much issue, but that middle ring, you're gonna wanna be really careful. The adhesive's quite sticky. So you probably have to kind of work your way underneath here for a little bit to try and get an angle on it. This is going to be pretty warped by the time you get it off. So don't really expect to be reusing these stock feet. If you're somebody like me who does like to keep things in pretty good condition, even when you're removing them, that's not going to be a possibility. This is getting pretty torn up. Just a quick peel there and we've got that off. Let's do the back one here. This one should be quite a bit easier. Something I wanted to go ahead and point out at this point, now that we've gotten both of these off, when you're removing these, you want to get it down to where you can see screw holes. If you're seeing like a black pad, if you're seeing something similar to that, you haven't gone far enough. You need to get that black pad off as well especially if you're running a thicker aftermarket skate like these Tiger Ice. You want to get that black pad all the way off because you'll have liftoff issues on the sensor. It'll be up too high off the mouse pad. So make sure you get all the way down to the screw holes. Let's go ahead and try and get this metal ring out. Again, make sure you're working away from your sensor to avoid any risk of scratching it. That one came out pretty easy. All right. Now we are down to the screw holes across the board there. There's also a puck that comes with the super light. 
you can go ahead and remove it from that as well if your new set comes with a puck pad as well. I don't run with the puck very often, but if you do, you might wanna do this. I'm gonna go ahead and do it, just to keep everything uniform across the board. Some people like having this puck on there, some don't. It just comes down to a preference thing. The puck does increase your friction just a little bit since you're obviously adding more contact points to the mouse pad. That's gonna automatically increase friction. There we go. Stock feet are off across the board here. Our next step is gonna be, go ahead and grab you a microfiber towel or some kits. I think this one actually does come with some alcohol swabs. We're gonna take them out here. There is one alcohol swab here. You just wanna clean up the base of that mouse to make sure that your mounting surface is as clean as it can be. We'll use the included swab here. If that doesn't quite get it, I've got some high alcohol percentage rubbing alcohol here with me that I can use to wipe off any remaining residue with this microfiber towel. All right, so we're just gonna give her a quick swab here. Make sure all the old adhesive is off. Looks like I unfortunately did scratch the plastic a little bit underneath the pad. Something to keep in mind if you're using a sharper instrument. You want to make sure you <laughs> don't go quite as aggressive as I did. They may not show on the camera. There's a couple little pock marks here and there where the screwdriver kind of dug into the plastic a little bit. Shouldn't be an issue, but you don't. You obviously don't want to make it too jagged if you can avoid it. That's going to cause some issues with how that new pad sits on the mouse body itself. That seems pretty clean. So I think we'll move back here towards the sensor. Get the ring here. Give it a little swab. Just get the old adhesive out. And the same thing on the back ring here. We'll do the puck as well. We've again got a few imperfections here on the plastic. Some of this I think may have already just been on the mouse. I'm not sure. We've kind of got them all over and I only went in about one line on this puck. That one's wiped off. I'm gonna take this microfiber towel, just give it a wipe down to kind of assist that alcohol in drying. And also to double check if there's any leftover adhesive there. Definitely put a couple scratches in it. They're not deep enough to be an issue though, I don't think. We've still got some adhesive. So I think I'm gonna bust out that alcohol that I was talking about and we'll use that. So I've got some 91% isopropyl alcohol here. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the microfiber and continue to scrub that down. Just being really thorough while I'm in here. Might as well clean it while we've got everything apart. And put this down on the table so I can really kind of bear down on it. Give it a little pressure. Give it a good scrub. As long as you get the surface, you know, as flat as it can be, no big globs of adhesive or anything, you're probably gonna be good. This is a bit overkill, but I just wanna make sure. All right, we've got that puck looking pretty good. This is a pretty soft microfiber, so you'll obviously wanna make sure you have a, a pretty soft cloth to do this. Little tiny scratches aren't gonna be an issue, but you just wanna avoid big, deep gouges. That looks pretty clean. I think that's gonna be good to go. The good thing about this 91%, or you can sometimes get even higher if you look in your store, you can, uh, but the higher alcohol percentages, they dry very quickly, so. I think this will be good to go. This is ready to install the new feet now. You can see, here's the new feet. There's a little, you can tell which side on these tiger eyes, it may not show on the camera. There's a very clear adhesive part, and this part is the smooth bit. So we're just gonna wanna put this on here as even as we possibly can. Fit it just right in the grooves. Looks like it's lined up pretty well. We're gonna go ahead and just make sure it's on there. Got a little guitar pick thing. You can do this gently. You don't wanna scratch it, the new PTFE too much. That's just to make sure there's any, you know, there's no air bubbles and stuff like that. All right, so that is the first one on. Let's move on to the next. 
back portion is the first one that came off, so we'll start with it. Snapped right in place, pretty easy there. Gonna kind of firmly press down and get it seated. We'll do the puck next. Got a little bit of an air bubble on this one. This one doesn't have screw holes to breathe. But the adhesive doesn't go all the way to the edge, so you might be able to work some of those air bubbles out if you get like a, a really, really big one. This one's not looking too bad. I'm just kind of working the air bubbles from the middle out right now. But that feels pretty good. All right, there's the puck installed. That leaves us with the sensor ring. Pull it off. Be real careful not to bend this one as you pull it off. And we'll just work it into place here. It's not an exact fit. But... It looks like it sits in there pretty decently. Looks like the ring's just slightly bigger than, or has a slightly larger inside diameter than what the sensor ring's space is here. Shouldn't be an issue. There is the Tiger Ice skates installed on the G Pro X Superlight. Pretty painless process. Um, should get a little bit better glide out of this mouse now. We'll test it this week on my stream. Um, some people say that the puck doesn't isn't quite the right height off of the mouse. Kind of hard to see on the camera. Um, again, I probably won't use the puck. Some people say when you put the puck on with certain aftermarket skates that it really there it's too small to even make contact with the pad anyway, so it doesn't matter. So that's something to keep in mind. This one does, it does feel a little bit like the puck is lower than this back ring. That's just something to think about. But yeah, that'll about do it for this quick tutorial video. We'll check this out on my stream and see if it, uh, see if it glides any better. Hope this was helpful. Um, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.